Now, you may not know it, but this is the strongest team you can possibly make. No? What do you have there? <laughs> Don't, I, thought I, I thought I had those in my closets a long time ago. Who took them out? They were in my panty drawer. Oh well. Give them back. I'll trade you something for it. You guys like bartering, right? Alright. I am going to guess that this is the ultimate weapon. But I am not going to make them right now. Because I am going to make the ultimate weapon for people I like. Which may or may not include this group. Then again, you know what, let's check. I think I'm gonna at least make Kevin's weapon because oh it doesn't no, it doesn't let me even see what's going on hmm how many do I have I think I have four right so I should be able to make the ultimate weapon for every single person in my ultimate team so we're starting with Bo or maybe I can only make one which is okay because I have to use Kevin. Can I make more? I can't. Okay. Good. Good game. Nope. This is actually not quite so good. Actually, you know what? Yeah, this is... His current, current bow is actually a lot better than this one. Is it? Most definitely it is. Well, there goes the waste of a war. I probably should have checked what I wanted, but you know, that's okay. Most likely, I'm gonna make a Reese's weapon. But now I regret everything, because I could have... I could have downloaded it better. Huh. So, I think we have about two or three things left to do. We have a few doors left. There's one sun door we still need to do, which is the, uh, the quiz show. I need to finish the brutal, not the brutal, but the impossible. I forget what the highest difficulty is. And now we have three of these. Um, since we just came back from hell, let's go back in. And I want to do Ren's door first. And after that, I think what I'm going to do is go for the last tournament. Yes, very much so. After tournament, we'll do the 400 battle grind, and then finally the last door. Hey everybody! I see you're still here. Well, I'm getting mighty tired. I want this to be over. The moon says it ain't over till it's over. And there I am. Aww. Beyond good and evil too. Sounds like something the old man would say. The world just keeps on spinning. With or without me. Paradise for whom? Let's identify which one is Rance drawing. Is it a happy man, the sun? Or the deformed beetle creature that's on the bottom there? I'm gonna guess that's hers. 
So this appears to be some sort of orphanage. Cross. I hope his last name is not Bell. Also, you need to get your eyes checked out. The other kids are not going to be happy about this. I wonder where they're at. No windows. I want darkness. Did you just call me a doll? Do you not have to go and wear any weird clothes today? I don't like the sound of that. How old is she? Getting nominated. Oh boy. I think I see where this is going. So Ren seems to be some sort of, um, for these kids, she seems to be some sort of a, an Estelle figure, if you will. You know, I, I don't think it's any surprise that their life sucks at this point. It's very easy to see now. But if they come back and see Ren, you know, being the, the beautiful present that she always is, I think that somehow assures them. I don't like where this story is going to be going. If there's a single source of sunshine, what happens if you block it out? What happens if you remove the sunshine from paradise? happens if you ran out of cheeseburgers. Oh, okay. I guess I don't have to worry about that. They're gonna go before she does. Maybe I spoke too soon.
It would be my pleasure. I don't think she realized how important that sentence was. It's the tree. It has golden eyes and black scales. Its mouth stink blood with all the people it ate. Huh. I've always thought that thin was some sort of like a technicolor object. One for every strap of life. And I've always thought that its stomach should be transparent so you can see exactly what's going in and out of it. I think it's interesting that she remembers their names, but she doesn't remember their faces. Oh, wow. Does he mean that metaphorically or literally? You mean killing people? Sure. I see what's going on. She was working all along. It wasn't the first time.
and I don't know if there were in fact any others. It might just be her from the very beginning. Right? Never apologize. The other kids... The other kids are, uh, are all her. Are, they're all Rem. Everybody's Rem. Princess is ran. The folks working, they're all ran. Number one is ran, number 15 is ran. The beast. With a large, wide stomach. That's also Ram. Is that cross? That's her best friend. It's the only one left. In a way, Ouroboros is also an orphanage of sorts. It gives the broken people something to hang to. Something that holds them together. Oh, sorry, man. Bad news for ya. Joshua get Cassiest. He has found real parents.
Is that really her parents? Hmm. I wonder what happened to that part of the history. I think we find that out a uh, certain, certain part of it anyway in the Crossbell games. Ran's real parents, what happened? No, in those few years. You are the other kid. But don't worry, we're all the other kid. I think this makes puts a little more context into how she feels about Estelle and Joshua when she, you know, meets him again the first time after after Joshua's little you know, tour of duty. I don't think she, I don't think she minds the position uh, in War Bros, but in, in one part. You can see a little bit of that enviousness when she's watching the little baby. And why she's spending all this time telling herself that there's nothing to be sad about. Of course, it's still the same thing. Her papa and mama now are still the crosses and the anges of the world. That has not changed. Thanks, Robot Daddy, you're the best. To infinity. Also known as Crossbell. We're gonna find ourselves a new family! Woohoo! Dragon Shmagon, am I right? Who needs dragons when you have modern technology? Stupid Cassius. Why couldn't he have adopted me instead? Thanks for watching. See you next time.